Good evening to you, Kaidi. Police are pouring over videotapes and still looking for witnesses to try to give them more information about what exactly happened in that police involved shooting that left one Inwood man dead. Meanwhile, the grieving family of the man killed is disputing the police version of what happened. Well, I will remember my brother by the loving man that he was, how his smile like brightened up a room. The family of 29-year-old Joel Capian is in mourning, hours after the Inwood resident was shot dead by police early Sunday, 3 a.m., on the corner of Dykeman Street and Nagel Avenue in Inwood. Police say four members of the 34th Precinct's anti-gun neighborhood safety team saw a fight on the street and someone holding a gun. They give commands to, for the person to drop the firearm. They yell repeated commands, and then at some point, officers uh, discharge their weapons. The four officers shot multiple rounds, striking Joel Capian. He was pronounced dead at a nearby hospital. Police released a photo of the weapon they say Capian had in his hands, but police say it's not clear if the 29 year old pointed the gun at officers. My brother was never armed. He never owned a gun. He lived here with me and my mom. He never owned a gun, and that was just him. He never, never did that. Earlier, at a nearby walk for peace to stop gun violence, Mayor Adams defended the officers' actions. Those officers kept saying, drop the gun, drop the gun, drop the gun. Each one of those officers, they have loved ones at home. They want to go home to their loved ones, and they want to, want to make sure the people in that community that wasn't carrying a gun can go home to their loved ones. Police say Capian had eight prior arrests, including robbery, gang assault, and criminal sale of a controlled substance. But his family says he was in the process of turning his life around. We have our youth where we all make mistakes. He came home almost a year ago, and he was trying to be a better person. He was all about his family. Now, the family of Joel Capian said they're still waiting for a police visit. They want to hear from the NYPD. They want to be told exactly what their version is, and they want to tell them their version. We are live in Inwood. McGee Hickey, PIX11 News. Back to you, Kaidi.